flying geese pattern of development was originally coined by Akamatsu in several Japanese articles in the 1930s and presented to the world in English after World War II in two seminal articles in 1961 and 1962. The paradigm suggests that countries will develop as part of a regional upgrading process where the production of goods would continuously move from economically more advanced countries to economically less advanced ones. The countries in a region could be considered to be aligned successively behind the more advanced industrial nations in the order of their different stages of growth in a wild geese flying pattern. Beginning in the 19th century, Japan began to play catch-up development with the West in non-durable consumer goods, durable consumer goods and capital goods sector in that order. Over time, these industries have flocked to newly industrialized economies following in the wake of Japan, before relocating to China, which has in turn now seen relocation of certain industries to the latest comers in Asia. The model nicely illustrates the continuous process of upgradation of countries and relocation of industries, driven by a diversified network economy coordinated by multinational firms. The flying geese model intends to explain the catching up process of industrialization of late common economies from the following aspects. First, there is intra and inter-industry upgrading of a country over time. The process focuses on the gradual development of industries in a manner compatible with the national economy's changing factor and technological endowments. This includes the sequence within industries from consumer goods to capital goods and from simple articles to more complex and refined products, but also includes a shift from the lower value added, lower in technology intensive, more labor intensive and less capital intensive industries to higher value added, higher technology intensive, less labor intensive and more capital intensive industry. Second, this industrial upgrading of countries will lead to international relocation of industries from economically more advanced economies to economically less advanced countries during the latter's catching up process. Inter-economy sequencing entails the orderly transfer of industrial activities among national economies in a process of regional upgrading. Industrial transfers will be made in those economies that have acquired the resources and technological capacities most suitable to the transfers in a dynamic process that can take many decades. This intra-industry and inter-industry upgrading, as well as inter-economy upgrading, will lead to an international division of industries across countries based on the alignment of industries from more advanced economies to less advanced economies, according to their stages of growth. The less developed nations will export primary products and will import industrial goods for production and consumption. Later on, a less developed economy will attempt to produce goods that were imported before, first in the field of consumer goods and later on in the area of capital goods. As a fourth stage of production, countries will export capital goods. There will be a tendency of advanced differentiation in the world economy, however, because the capital goods industries in advanced nations will still advance further, giving rise to relative differences of comparative costs within industries.